NFL playoffs kick off tomorrow, and it comes as viewership during the regular season is expected to be down about 3% from a year ago. But it's not the reason you might think, unless you know, it's Amazon. They're being blamed for this drop as Thursday Night Football moved exclusively to Prime Video this season. Here with more on that and the streaming landscape is Joe Flint, media and entertainment reporter for The Wall Street Journal. Joe, welcome. I, you know, Amazon says, listen, the, dem the demo numbers were fabulous. And frankly, I was surprised that many people watched it on Prime Video. What are your takeaways? Well, I think a decline was always to be expected anytime a, a sport or any program is transitioning to a new platform. Uh, that said, uh, younger demos aside, the, the drop in viewership is lower than even Amazon had projected. They had told advertisers they thought they'd have about 12.6 million viewers. According to Nielsen, they had about 9.58 million viewers. And even Amazon's own measurement through their own first person data came up with just over 11 million. So they did under under deliver some. I also think there was some technical issues as someone who had to watch the Amazon games on their computer because oh, they yeah. just didn't stream well on my TV. Uh, so you know, there, there were some bumps, and I think a lot of sports will experience this sort of transition because we're going to see more sports leagues doing bigger deals on streaming platforms. If you X'd out the Amazon factor and you merely uh, looked at the legacy providers, how did the NFL do? Up on NBC, CBS, and ABC, a couple percentage points, and ESPN was down slightly, but that is taking out the Cincinnati-Buffalo game. And, of course, what happened there in the game was canceled. That audience prior to cancellation was on track to provide enough of a boost where ESPN would have also been up from a year ago. So this is really more of a Thursday night football situation than a general NFL ratings are down situation. Joe, now we have this kind of one last big media rights deal, the NBA coming up. I, I guess, do we, know, do we know the timing for that yet? Um, what is that going to tell you about the value of both these sports rights uh, and also what people are paying up for these sports teams? Well, the NBA is going to be very interesting. Uh, it's got a couple more seasons to go. The main carriers, as you guys know, are Disney's ESPN and Warner Brothers Discovery's TNT. Uh, both of them really need the NBA, but you look at Warner Brothers Discovery, they have a lot of debt. They're, they've been making a lot of moves to try to reduce debt and be much more uh, conservative on spending. David Zaslav, the CEO there, has already said, we don't need the NBA. Uh, but TNT uh, relies on the NBA, not only for ratings, but the big sub fees that they charge distributors. So I expect they will fight to keep it, but I won't be surprised if they end up with a smaller package and the rest of that gets carved off to an Amazon, to an Apple. Now we see YouTube pushing into sports. So that's what I would anticipate happening. I'm curious, are, speaking of, of sports generally, but, but specifically the NFL rights, and to a lesser degree the NBA uh, thing, I wonder how the pay packages that are now being offered to the broadcasters, like Joe Buck, like Troy Aikman, like Tony Romo, like Al Michaels, how are those affecting profitability? Because those individuals are getting paid a heck of a lot more than they did five years ago. Most definitely. ESPN made the big move bringing in Joe Buck and Troy Aikman because they felt that they really didn't have an A-list broadcast booth for that franchise. And Amazon, of course, wanting to make a splash, show that they're real, brings in Al Michaels. And yeah, those costs are up. And then everyone else's costs go up to keep talent around. Right. And if Tom he ever retires and goes to Fox, that's a huge paycheck they've promised him. So yeah, certainly those costs are getting higher and production costs seldom go down in sports as well.